Okay, one thing I forgot to mention, which is probably blindingly obvious to most people, is don't ever be tempted to put your Atomic in a dishwasher. You will lose all that shine, it will go dull grey. Very difficult to get that shine back again. Um, most people are going to be concerned with cleaning the inside of an Atomic, so I'm just going to show you very quickly how to go about doing that. If you've bought a second-hand Atomic from eBay, or your Atomic has been standing for a long time, at the very best what you'll have is a white residue inside the machine where the water has reacted with the aluminium. At worst what will happen is this knob here will be sealed in and no matter how hard you try and get it out you're almost certain to break it whilst trying to get it out. If you do have a sealed knob my advice would be to get something like a Black & Decker Workmate wrap a dish towel around that and put the machine into the workmate like that and try and twist it out. I think I've only ever once managed to get the knob out intact. What normally happens is the baker light shatters and you'll end up having to get some pliers on the metal bit that's left and use brute force to get the remaining metal out and you'll have to buy yourself a new steam knob. If you're lucky um, what you'll all you'll ever have to do is do what I'm about to do now. Simplest way to clean an atomic is with a lemon. Just chop the lemon in half, use nice juicy lemons and squeeze the water, the lemon juice side into the jug. Try and avoid getting all the pips in. Use cheap and cheerful lemons and juicy ones and not the ones with thick skins would be my advice. Um, I'm just going to take out all the pips. Okay. So what we've got here is concentrated lemon juice from a fresh lemon. Or to the chemists among us, also known as acetic acid. I'm going to um, just dilute that in water. So with a you can dilute that with as much water as you like, but if you have a relatively concentrated solution it'll work slightly better. Avoid touching the outside of your atomic with lemon juice, otherwise once again what will happen is you'll ruin the shine on it. And just pour that carefully inside the machine like that. If you listen if you listen very carefully you'll hear a fizzing sound and that's the acid reacting with all the bad things inside your machine. After about 10 or 15 minutes um, that fizzing sound will stop. Depending on how bad and how dirty your machine is you might have to do that two or three times. This machine is used every day and it's relatively clean. When you pour out the residue Often on an old machine, when you pour it into the jug like that, you'll see lots of little bits of aluminium, I guess it's oxide in there. As I say, this machine is used every day, um, so it's actually quite clean. When you've done that two or three times, rinse the machine out with water. Put the knob back into the side of it shake it as hard as you can. Once again you might have to repeat this process several times. Basically when I get a new atomic in that I'm cleaning I will do this until the water that comes out actually runs clear. Once again even this machine has got little bits of residue coming out. The other thing you might want to do, when you've finished doing that, make sure you always run the machine through with water and coffee without actually drinking the coffee, unless you like your coffee tinged with lemon juice flavour. If you're lucky, you might have an atomic with screws that actually come out here. Once again, this atomic is used every day. I service it regularly, so these screws actually come out. Nine times out of ten you'll try and get these screws out and they will snap off. Which is not a problem. It is annoying but it's not a problem and I've not yet figured out a way to drill them out easily. 
the screws actually, even if they do snap off or your machine doesn't have any screws, doesn't affect the performance of your ma machine one iota. You'll just have to do, to get that plate out carefully, just lever up with the right size screwdriver, which that isn't. Just lever that. You'll see the seal, the seal, these seals here are standard seals on all coffee machines, not all coffee machines, but you can actually get them from any old coffee shop. Just take the old seal in, not sure the exact number, but they're normally white and they come with the uh, 